All right, welcome back to season three of our show. And today it's salad. We're showing you a very fast tomato bean bread salad. So right here we have some bread. Now the nice part about this bread, it's stale. That's what you want to use for this. So if you have any old bread laying around your house, it's a must. We got some cherry tomatoes. These are the beans. So let's get this going. So the first thing we're gonna do, start cutting into some bread. Like I said, it's some stale bread, so that's what you want. I'm just gonna chomp through this bread. And these are the pieces that you want it in. Like that, almost like crouton pieces. And I tell you, if you guys never had this before, you're in for a treat. So it's amazing how many people actually throw out their bread. You're better off giving it to the birds than throwing it out. But I'm gonna show you something to do with your bread. have any around the house. This was always my mom's go-to. Back in the days we fell on hard times and during those times we used everything in the house. So this was my mom's go-to and I used to love this salad. I never even knew it was used bread until then. So the first thing we'll do is start to take some of this. I'm going to just put this over into this bowl over here. So that's going to be the last thing we put in, but we just want to make sure it's cut up first. And I just wanted to show you the pieces of how to cut that up, just like that. So just judge it out. I think I'm going to use all of this, but you can hear that, that crunch on there. Pretty crazy, right? And that's what you want. So just judge it out. I also save my bread for stuffings. I freeze them and they're in my freezer and I pull them out, put them in the oven and I use them for stuffing. All right, so we're almost there. I think I'm gonna go with just a little bit more bread and just judge it out because you can always put more bread but you can't take away. So I think I'm gonna go out there with it. Maybe use this last piece. And just judge it out for what you have here. All right, so I think I'm gonna go about there. Now I'm gonna take my beans. These are northern beans. So what I did was I cooked them down. No salt or anything in there, I just cooked them. It took about two hours, two and a half hours on the stove. And that's what you want. I got some oregano in here. I'm going to give this a little oregano. I saved that liquid in there too. So we use some of the liquid in there. Don't dump all that liquid out of there. This is vinegar, apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to just give this a quick stir like that and judge it out. And I think I'm going to use all the vinegar and just a little bit more dry oregano. I think I'm going to use all of it. Let's get a cherry tomato in. And give that a stir. And it's coming together. It's looking beautiful. All right, so along with this goes our fresh herbs. So what I'm doing, first I'm just gonna take a purple onion or a red onion. You can call them whatever you like. I call them both purple or red. I'm just gonna thinly slice this down. And don't forget, this is raw, so you wanna go very thin slices with it, like that, because it is raw. And we're just gonna take the whole onion and go in with it like that. So I cut it in half. And now, I'm just going down into very thin slices and slicing this really thin. And we're gonna get them in. I'm gonna go in with the whole onion because I like onion. And if you don't like onion, then you don't have to use as much onion. 
there we go. So over here I got some basil in here too. Now that's fresh basil. And what we're going to do today is that we're not going to cut it up and boil it up. We're just going to put it in pieces just like that. So just take it and just rip it. Very rustic and just get it in there. And that packs a punch when you use that basil like that. So what I do is just go in like this and just start ripping it up. Very rustic salad, so let's make it one. Great way to use anything around the house. You got things going to waste or you got tomatoes going bad, put them in a salad and use it. Because they're very expensive, everything in the supermarket today. It's very costly. All right, so we got some sage here. Now the sage, I'm gonna boil up. But you don't wanna get it hit with a whole dose of that sage, so I'm boiling it up. And I'm just gonna cut it up. And then I'm gonna just make it real fine. That'll do. And get that in there. Now we got some fresh garlic. And we're just gonna get that in there as well. Let's give that a quick smash. I'm just gonna, these are small pieces, so we're just gonna just start cutting it out. Nothing like fresh garlic in a salad. Now, if it's too bitter for some or too strong for some, I suggest you leave it out. But to me, it just makes the entire salad. All right, let's get our garlic in. Just like that. Olive oil. You want a good douse of the olive oil. Put a good old douse in there. And now we're just gonna mix it up. That's how wet you want the salad. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some salt. A little pinch, a little bit more. That's about it. And fresh ground pepper. Put as much or as little as you want, because each is own. All right, let's just mix that. Coming together beautifully, isn't it? We're gonna put a little bit more crushed pepper. That pepper is just really gonna bring out all the flavor in that salad. If you guys don't want pepper, don't put it in there, but this is a whole dish right here. All right. Now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna chill it out in the fridge for about 20 minutes and get it chilled down, and then we're gonna meet you back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, here we are, season three's chopping block, bread salad, let's show you how to do it. So this is how you wanna put this dish together. So this is the beautiful dish we made. Here's our bread, and here's some arugula. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in my bowl, just a little arugula like this. Now the reason why we're putting them together here is because that bread's gonna get soggy if you don't make this at the table. 
and this could last for a very long time in your fridge if you decide to do it this way. So let's get some bread inside here. You can hear how hard that bread is, right? I think I'm gonna go about there with it. And we're just gonna add our liquid. And just make sure you mix it up. In this case, I'm just gonna toss it. Let's get some more in here. Just like that. And let's just give that a little toss. All right, so right into the dish we go with it. I'm actually gonna soak up that bread just a little bit more. So just make sure that bread is soaking up everything. This is why you make this nice liquid over here because you wanna make sure you get enough liquid in here to bread ratio. Let's just go in with that little piece of bread. And here we go. Right on top of that salad. Just like that. And this will make several plates, so just park it right on top of that arugula. Just like that. And look how delicious that looks. Can't go wrong with this salad. If you want, you can put a little bit more arugula on in and around the plate. Just like that. Now you can make this yours, put whatever you like to put in here. If you want to add a couple more pieces of bread, like here, you can just throw them in. And just make it yours. I think I'm going to put a couple more beans up top. And there you have it. Alright, we're going to get situated again, and we're going to meet you right back here. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is, a tomato bean bread salad. Served up with some arugula on the side. Can't go wrong with this salad. Now you guys got no excuse not to use that bread up. Thank you, we enjoyed having you. Until the next time, gotta get that little Pitmaster taste there.